Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all well. Um, I wanted to talk about chronic inflammation and its effect on the heart. Um, there's uh, is very little I know about this topic. It's something that's come up recently in a conversation that I had, and I was kind of half aware that you know. Um, like, you know, if you've got ankylosis spondylitis like I have, um, there's a chance that, or an increased chance, that there's going to be problems with your heart um, at some point. <clears throat> Whether that happened or not is, you know, hopefully not. And, you know, I take anti-inflammatories and biologics and stuff like that, so it should keep it at, at bay. But... What I want to know is basically, you know, have you had or have you got issues with your heart that have stemmed from either um, uh, having a uh, chronic inflammation, um, you know, a disease that's caused chronic inflammation or an autoimmune disease that's caused, caused chronic inflammation, you know, I know that uh for example you can have an increased heart rate decreased heart rate which neither is good um you know it's got to be within a, you know a certain you know upper and lower threshold for it to be efficient um <clears throat> i also want to know a little bit more about if there is you know increased uh other problems from having problems with your heart so obviously you know if it if something um attacks your heart then there's going to be a knock-on effect somewhere else um so i'm totally aware that chronic um inflammation uh, strains uh, puts a strain on a lot of the organs in the body eyes like uh, uveitis um lungs liver kidneys and of course heart um liver is quite a, quite a, quite the obvious one i think for a lot of us that take things like anti-inflammatories biologics um because your liver has to process those anti-inflammatories um which it, it, it you know they are like absolutely turbo ibuprofen you know and the doctor says don't take ibuprofen every day because it will cause problems well you know anti-inflammatories on this level are off the scale so um there can be you know issues with your liver so that can get checked quite easily with your um uh local rheumatology team or, or what have you do an ultrasound um <clears throat> but yeah the key thing being the heart you know i know that Chronic inflammation can cause problems with the aorta. And if the aorta has problems, then obviously blood flow in and out of the heart can then have issues. So, yeah, my question is to you guys out there, what experiences have you had um, with, you know, your heart in terms of, you know, uh, from having um uh an inflammation issue you know chronic inflammation um sorry i'm a bit stumbly today I, it's time for my nap i'm not quite you know i'm like trying to get my words out but basically tell me everything that you know about the heart and its link to um inflammatory chronic inflam inflammation sorry there you go um so, yeah, let me know. And as usual, comments below, please. I'm coming up to uh, a level of subscribers now, which is, you know, amazing. Absolutely amazing. We're getting the community out there. We're getting the awareness out there, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, I think I'm about 60 away from 1,000 people, which is monumental absolutely brilliant so um please do what you do share like subscribe 
do everything. Um, let's get the word out on the street, as it were, and let's get awareness out there for, for whatever we do. Um, I know there's a bunch of us out there that do the same sort of thing as well. And uh, it's, it's working. Brilliant. So there we go. I'm off to have a nap. Much needed nap. And I will see you next time. Thank you very much.